Sometimes for unknown reasons we'll walk through a, vine a block of grapes or a vineyard and we'll notice a vine in particular that this is not normal compared to the rest of the vines. And in this case it's still white fruit and it's adjacent vines either to the side or behind me or down the row is all white fruit. But when something stands out like this it's always what is it and why is it here? Well sometimes in experiences from the nurseries you think you're getting a hundred percent of the variety that you ordered or the budwood or whatever but there are going to be some mixed vines in that group as long as it's not a red variety sometimes the wineries don't really much care but the predominant variety in this block is Sauvignon Blanc and this happens to be Semillon. A couple of reasons to me why it stands out as being different is that you notice that the leaves are more yellow in comparison to the darker green leaves here adjacent and as well as the shape of the leaves. Every single variety in, planted in the world has its own identifier and that is the leaf. Ampliographers can tell varieties just by the leaves, by the color of the wood, by the shape of the leaves, the growth habits, a lot of different things. But in this case because of Semillon. Semillon is generally a bland uh, variety. It's usually put in with Sauvignon Blanc or Sauvignon Mesquite to kind of give it a little component in the wine. And it's when we taste it here today, you, it's just bland. There's no flavors particular to it. There's no sweetness, no acidity. It's just a little bland, but we walk over here to the Sauvignon Blanc and taste a few berries. We get a little bit of hint of sweetness a little pear, apple, citrus components to it. Again, it's not going to be an off thing in the winery. The pickers are not going to stay away from this vine and not pick it. They'll go ahead and pick it anyway. But then this happens to be a Cabernet Sauvignon vineyard. Like over here, this is our typical Cabernet Sauvignon. But we have Cabernet Franc here and there's just a few vines of Cabernet Franc and again at this point in time you can see that the berries are a different size, the cluster is a little bit more small um, and it's just another little component of the blend here if you will. There's probably not more than 50 or 60 vines interplanted in this vineyard but uh, you can see that the leaves are much larger. They're much larger in size. They're not as sharp uh, serrations such as a Cabernet Sauvignon and comparison here is a Cabernet Sauvignon leaf compared to uh, a Cabernet Franc leaf. Always appears that for some reason in t different blocks of grapes that there will be one or two vines that you know how, where did those come from and where they came from is from the nursery. 